Hi folks, today we're going to be talking about SD cards, especially those which you can use with your Raspberry Pi 5. We're going to make a short intro about SD cards types and then we'll continue with how to use them with Raspberry Pi 5. You're probably wondering what to do if your SD card stops responding and it seems uh, not to be usable again. But there are very simple tricks with which you can revive it and use it again without losing any data. SD cards are of many different types and of course an old SD card might not have been fast enough to support an operating system that you can run on Raspberry Pi. But what is interesting is that when looking at different SD cards you can see that the speed difference is from 12.5 megabytes, this was the full speed for the first SD cards, to whopping 3938 megabytes. This is X Express SD card, so not every SD card is suitable to be used with a computer. Of course, if you are using it with a microcontroller with your home project, you may be needing a very few data transfers, maybe more or less having data stored on SD card like your photos do. They only store pictures on SD card, but if you want to use it for frequent data transfer, there are special kind of SD cards that are not only quick to store data and to read data, but also enable many reads and writes. Some of the SD cards usually the full-sized SD card have also inbuilt microcontrollers that may have cache and so on. They actually work like a small disk and also data throughput may be very high. So what is interesting, you can have an application performance SD card that is capable of 1500 operations per second when you are reading it and about 500 operations per second while writing it. This is quite a fast operation and this is class 1. A class 2 performance application SD card achieves 4000 reads per second and up to 2000 writes per second, which is really a lot. However, Raspberry Pi 5 only supports UHS-1 SD cards. This means that the maximum speed is 104 megabytes per second. UHS-2 and 3 cards have additional pins, but they cannot be utilized by Raspberry Pi 5. Though UHS-3 Express cards may achieve speeds up to 985 megabytes per second, they are limited to 104 megabytes per second with Raspberry Pi 5. So, for an optimum Raspberry Pi 5 operation, you need UHS-1 type SD card. What about SD card reliability? It sometimes happens that SD cards stop working at all, but this doesn't mean that you cannot revive them. It's usually relatively easy to get them working again if you have a computer with SD card reader that is not connected through USB, but it's rather inbuilt, it's usually connected through PCIe bus. This is mostly the case with PC laptops. So if you have one at hand, it is very easy to take the card that has stopped working and simply stick it into this reader. Usually it would start, you would be able to read it. There are very interesting situations with SD cards because if you use a USB card reader, uh, this one has a microcontroller. They're usually very small. A lot depends actually on this microcontroller and its capability also the speed of reads and writes. And of course, uh, it is also uh, dependent on uh, the speed of your USB port. If you have watches today, more or less, in most cases, you have USB 2.0 reader, and this one is not particularly fast. But you can have also USB 3.0 reader. Of course, it is important which formats and if multi-partitioning is supported. But as much as I know, and with my experiences, I would have to say that actually most of SD card readers on USB do support 
multi-partitioning. But if you are talking about data keys that incorporate some kind of microcontroller and flash RAM, they usually do not support multi-partitioned drives. This means that actually you might be able to create two partitions, but afterwards your data key would not work as desired. Press a like and subscribe button if you like the video. The next video is coming soon. Bye.